cases. The symptoms are lasting for months. Health experts call these patients long haulers. Reporter Margaret Cavanaugh looks at the challenges from the effect of the virus. Heart problems caused Glenn Edwards to start running back when he was 54 years old. Believe that the only reason I'm alive today is because of my exercise habits and the condition and shape that I'm in. In tip top shape, he was running a half marathon. When I was training for that half, I felt the best I had ever felt. Then he got COVID, but says his symptoms weren't too bad. He recovered and went back to his passion running, but then more problems. Issue coming on that I just don't understand why I'm getting worse. You know, I'm running and I should be getting better, but I'm, I'm feeling like I'm getting worse. The only thing that has happened to me since 2018 is COVID. The only thing. So for my heart to drop that much over that short period of time, you know, to the doctor is obvious. Glenn is considered a COVID long hauler. COVID long haulers are basically patients that have been infected with COVID-19 but have persistent symptoms often for months at a time. And the symptoms can vary. Some also have like persistent coughing and tightness of the chest and many complain of what's called brain fog where they have cognitive dysfunction, where they're having trouble thinking as clearly as they did prior to getting infected with COVID. It's hard to tell because there's little information about this, but several studies suggest that about 10% of COVID patients turn into long haulers. The fatigue got so bad to the point where I've literally felt like my soul was being taken out of my body little by little with a straw, if that makes any sense at all. This woman says she's had problems for months. Chickpeas, meat and eggs all taste like metal. So it's been a very weird experience as far as that goes. It's kind of scary because there's not enough enough information here for, for the professionals. They don't know what they don't know. Uh, they need more data. They're examining studies like mine all the time. People like Dr. Scott Kelly, the chief medical officer for Citrodyne, a biotechnology company about to start a clinical trial on long haulers. We're all doing this really in real time, so it's kind of uncharted territory. So that's what we're working with the FDA right now. He says they're hoping to find medication to treat long haulers. Just don't take it for granted that because you had COVID and it's over, you're done. It might not, you might not be done. Glenn still runs, but he's been forced to slow down. Trying to get that into your mind, it, it, it's a little, you know, it messes with you because I knew what I was doing. I want to do that again. He wants to regain his full strength and stamina in a community of people he loves and wants to raise awareness about long haulers, many out there suffering long after they've been diagnosed with COVID. I'm Margaret Cavanaugh for News 3.